Welcome to another edition of Things Roger Beato Has in His Studio That I Want. I was watching Ron's excellent video about Free Will by my personal favorite band Rush. In it, he's using a high watt SA20 for the guitar parts. It was interesting since he rarely goes out of his way to point out gear, at least in the videos I've seen. But this time he makes an extra point about playing a high watt custom 20, as they were originally known, and mentioning that my favorite guitarist of all time, Alan Lifeson, was using 100 watt high watt stacks back in his long hair phase. Look at that hair. High watts are known to be very clean, not shimmery like a fender, rather very bold and full like Rich's hair. But if you want even a hint of breakup on the 100 or 50 watt versions, then you'll probably want to be playing somewhere big like Derek Gilmore or Pink Floyd, pictured here in 1970. Look at that hair. The SA in SA20 stands for Studio Amp. 20 watts is a good size to bring to a studio and be able to crank and play during long recording sessions without going deaf. The website even points out that the SA20 will break up with the gain control past 12 o'clock in order to bring out that sweet tube saturation at usable level. In this photo, Ryan is playing without hearing protection and it's fine. Look at that hair. Speaking of the website, iWatts is interesting in that they list the price right on the page and also have a link to Reverb, where you can buy an SA20 or any of their other amps. I've literally never seen one of these in the wild. No stores near me have them, no one I know has one, no one I've ever played with has one, and they never show up anywhere used. This only makes me want one even more, because at 24 hundo, the only way I'm going to be able to afford one is through insurance fraud or outright robbery. That's it, and until next time, thanks for tuning in to Things Rick Pensado Has in a Studio That I Want.